personally really enjoy the dancing element of it. I, I really like that, that the girls have somebody to follow with the dance moves and things along with the music. Do you enjoy the dancing girls? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> all night, all night, all night long, all night, all night. I thought it was really ambitious and it was came together beautifully to bring together that with the orchestra, your own music, the classical repertoire and a new completely new story to an unknown audience from naught to 80. I just loved it. I loved it. What I loved about it was kids of all kinds of ages were so into it. We had uh, tiny little babies from a year and we had you know, older kids, I said seven, eight year olds as well. Everybody was so involved, dancing about, uh, remembering the songs. You could see that with all the repetition people were remembering the things they'd learned from before and even the little bits of repertoire fitted in fantastically. It was a brilliant virtual. Best one of these I think was fun. Do you know, this, this is one of the most fantastic things because I think it has a great balance of um, illustration, music and movement, which you don't really get anywhere. And it's an opportunity to access the story in so many different ways. And it, there's something for everyone. So um, it's just coming up with new and inventive ideas to go for next year. I really enjoyed today's show of Wait What? It's been, uh, you know, it's been a long process getting to this point where we can perform it. Um, you know, we did, we did some recordings and Eddie's been drawing amazing things and David's been making up all the dances. Um, and so, yeah, today was an exciting day for all of us. And it was great to have a lovely audience who joined in so beautifully. Uh, so we really appreciate that. It's really fun. <laughs> really fun with the movement. It was great. It was really good. Yeah. Well done with Jack, especially. <laughs>